<laughs> I'm sticking out your tongue. Okay. Anything else. All right. So I'll move to open this meeting of Groveland Conservation Commission on April 10th, 2019 at 7 12 p.m. Is there a second? Fred? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got minutes here from February and March. If you want to take a quick look at them, these are both revised, right? Um, the February ones are. Oh, yeah, the March ones are new. Yes. So take a look at those. Here, I'll pass one down this way. Take a look at that. Do that while we're. Oh, this is one you are on. That look all right? Yeah. Let me take a look at that. One. I don't know, we can ask, uh, ask Rosemary. That's that special no, meeting we had. You all set? All right, so um, I got a request to, under old business, to have uh, the applicants for 180R Center Street come in and tell us about the, a couple of um, um, modifications, I would say, to their preparations for the project. So uh, I think uh, Larry Kelly's going to talk. Okay. There's several board members I don't know. 
I'm going to do all the site work for the project. Yep. I'm going to be the responsible person. The wetlands expert is Mary Rimmer. She's, you know, the, my boss in this thing. And so the first thing I did here, I, 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 I bought two plants. I bought a little version that Rose can have and make one we can look at. We're having our pre-construction meeting, I believe, on Monday or Tuesday or? Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thursday. Because yeah. Monday's a holiday. What are they doing? No, next Thursday, because Monday's a holiday. So, is there a time? Uh, no, we can set that. So, I tried to make this simple. I did a thing that the board can have and Rose can have a copy. The engineer made a erosion control plan with stake numbers. So in the future, anybody can go out there. Um, right now, everything you see in yellow is in. It'll be completed by Friday. Um, um, there's two sets of erosion control. I've completely closed in the culvert area. So this erosion control is out by the street. This erosion control encompasses the entire property for one, the Wetlands Protection Act, the Rivers Bill, and then the turtles, you know? So what I did, I'll give you all kinds of stuff here. Your order, your, your order asked for a um, low impact installation. So we've done, we, we, we've done this all with a, um, the, there's our, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Trencher. Uh, so there's our trencher. Here's just a bunch of photos of the erosion control. Anyone's welcome to go out and look at it. Um, the trencher just makes it so perfect. It, it, you know, the, the bottom's completely buried. So. To look at this plan for a minute, this, this plan shows the whole project that, I, that I'm going to do, okay? This plan for right now, dealing with the first section, this, this shows every stake that's out there, and I made sure that what we did is we moved them a few inches, put the sill fence in and put them back. So if you go out there and you find stake number 154, you guys can have this plan. This is the existing barn. This is, I, he put this on so, because it's tight, that's the future riding rink. And this is the wetlands crossing. And this section is on the other side of the wetlands crossing and this represents um, Center Street, okay? So if you look at it like this, here's the paddocks, here's the riding, here's the existing barn, here's the new barn, there's the box cover. So when anybody wants, we'll be done, um, will be done Friday. Actually, maybe go into Monday with the straw wattle, that, with the wattle that we're going to discuss. So presently, everything in yellow is in. Buried, silt fence, all kinds of stakes. Okay. So these two plans are for you. Okay. All right. So if anyone wants to go out there, and you're welcome to, you can find out anything by just reading these stake numbers. Yep. Okay. And you'll see. Like, the reason that bumps out is this is the replication area, okay? The reason that there's sill fence on both sides is I've just isolated the little, the little stream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, he, he, here's the first question. Um, I've put in sill fence and buried it six to eight inches into the ground. The, 12 inch silt sock, right? It's a big to do. The only way you can really do it is get a blowing machine that blows it into the sock in long lengths. It's extremely expensive, and I don't even know how you do it in here because, you know, I, you know, I can't even get close to it. Yeah. So I'd like to use the, ho the whole thing with the erosion control sock is the staking. So 
What I'd like to do is I'd like to use straw wattle. They call it nine inch or ten inch. I, you know, it varies. It's but I'm willing. Eight or twelve. Pardon? Eight or twelve. Yeah. Is typically what. Yeah. Okay. Provide. So, I'd like to use nine, eight or nine or whatever straw wattle. But I'm willing to stake it every five feet. So every thousand feet, I'll have two hundred stakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as I understand it, and Mary, you tell me, I've got to stake this with the wattle. And I've got to run the wattle down here, and I guess I've got to run the wattle here, but the rest of it is for the turtle, and the silt fence is sufficient. I, I need to clarify something. So your mm -hmm. order of conditions for erosion control had a 12-inch silt sock specified. No, 12-inch mulch sock. Mulch sock, I'm sorry. Mulch sock specified as one of your um, special conditions. We also have this siltation fence that's required for, for the turtle protection barrier, which also which isn't re referenced in your order of conditions, but we need to, to put it in to satisfy natural heritage. So we essentially have double erosion control, which is great. You know, that's good. We have the, the, the three-foot mesh siltation fence um, that's entrenched, which Correct. has just been put in, and then a supplemental erosion control that'll go in front of the silt sock on the upland side of the, of the siltation fence. The, what we're requesting is just to switch from the 12-inch mulch sock to a, a straw wattle, which is a similar <coughs> product. It's just lighter, easier to install, um, and it's better. Uh, and because you've got already got a, you know, another barrier in there, it should be perfectly adequate for uh, erosion control. So that's the modification to special condition um, 23. Just to, we're requesting to substitute the straw wattle. You know, it'll it'll be it'll be everywhere where it's shown on their approved plans. I did a solar field at a landfill, and we were able to get the truck. For some reason, they spec that, and I was able to get the the blower truck in with the mulch, and they run the sock out and blow the mulch in. It just it doesn't even fit this thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the other problem. Is it's you know, but I'm willing to stake. Equipment in there to, to get in to blow yeah. the mulch in. So. I'm willing to stake this every five feet. Okay. Um, so, Rosemary, yeah. this this is unusual for our orders. We don't usually specify a mulch sock. Special conditions were written by Greg. Yes. Who I did sent to Mary. You had, oh, you didn't get a chance to see it. And so part of that might have come from him. Yes. Because I don't typically have that in my order of conditions either. So, yeah. so it's, it, you know, it's a standard material that we use all, all, all over the place. And I yep. think that mulch, mulch shock for that special condition, if that was the standalone erosion control, it might be more appropriate. But it's not. It's this is going to be like a belt and suspenders, so, so it's mm -hmm. not necessary to have that big, heavy. Um, the wattle's going to go on the upland side of the fence. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there was a specific reason why we chose yeah. that. As long as it's not, we can just ask to substitute that, yeah. that product. That's okay with the commission. That's what we'd like to do, and that would make the um, is that okay? go a lot quicker. Yeah. You all right with that, Brent? Yeah. I, th I think we're all right back then. And then the other, um, I think most of the other items we can talk about during the pre-construction. Yeah, meeting. I just wanted to run them by you now for a second. Yeah, sure, sure. There, there's, I made a, a condensed mm -hmm. little copy of the order for myself. There's no problem with anything. It's the sequence of events. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I just like to explain it. I, I almost got a, a, a perfect copy of this that I did in Salisbury, okay, uh, the same deal. We fill half of it in so the, the um, salamanders and whatever can go through it. Um, this is on Beach Road. I did it last year. Um, so this is, this is, this is my, my problem. So not, not problem, but this is just, and I'm going to have this on Thursday in writing. Uh, so at the pre-construction meeting, I'm, I'm going to have a sequence that, okay, 
Uh, number 24, I address number 24 in the order is at the moment, I've got erosion control right around that side of the culvert and this side of the culvert, okay? The, um, number 29 is a, is a little bit of a problem. It's a lot of a problem. The wetlands rep replication area and compensatory floodplain replica replication area shall be constructed prior to any resource being filled. And I wish, uh, what's Hawksmith's first name? Greg. Greg. I wish he was here because I know him real well. I've done all kinds of work with him. I can't get in there. The only, the only way I've got in there so far is we're driving through the guy's yard. Yep. I, I have presently have three pieces of equipment there. In this section right here, out of the rivers bill and out of everything else, I'm going to just find my way here for a second. Right here, I got a giant stump dump, tires, everything. You'll see them all next week yep. at, the, at the thing. I've separated them all. I got the metal, I got the tires, I got the stumps, right? The only way I got that equipment is that I went down the power lines, okay? So what I'm going to put in my sequence, and I have to do, and I've done it many, many times, is what I want to do is sandbag each side of this little stream right now, put in two temporary pipes, put stone all around them, filter fabric, and two steel plates. And I want to work for 45 to 60 days, get all the material in here and everything, put my water main is, you, you know what the water main, I got to start face and center street and go backwards. Same thing, when I put the water main in, right, I'll pick up the two pipes, sandbag both sides, install the water main. The water main actually dives a little underneath the box culvert, right? Okay. There'll be no, not one drop on either side. Um, I'm going to do the water main first, and then in June, when the dirt's all in there, the water main's in, I'll put in the box culvert. Now, this box culvert, um, wow, did that get out of hand. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. It cost 52,000 bucks. It, it's seven, it's five, five sevens of 30, five seven foot sections. This is a real beauty that weigh 30,000 pounds each, 15 tons. So I got to get, I actually got to get the crane on the other side. I don't have, you know, I have big excavators, but they won't pick up 15 tons. Mm. So I got to get the crane on the other side to set the five sections. And the worst thing that happened is this thing's got to be custom built. It's skewed. It should have been square and just stuck out. But anyways, I don't want to change that. I've already got the thing underway. So it's not, you could buy five, say, New England Concrete has five sections, but not skewed. The reason it's skewed is the brook's going at an angle, all right? So anyways, in this sequence, I want to do every single thing here, spray, hay, mulch, everything. Everybody can watch me. I just need to get in there to do everything. Yep. I can't, I, you know, I'm driving through the guy's yard now, but I can't bring dump trucks, I can't bring water main, I can't bring dirt. <laughs> okay, uh, so... Your proposal is to have a temporary access road over metal plates that Correct. will cover over the uh, stream crossing. And if you go right to this is the key. Number 39, with the exception of the work approved by the, for the wetlands crossing, the flooding of streams with equipment is prohibited. Now, if you interpret that, I guess it's okay to go across a wetland club. But then it says, no haul roads or temporary access roads shall be located within 25 feet of any wetlands unless approved by the, by the Conservation Commission. So that's what I'm asking for. Yes, yes. I, I can't do anything here until <laughs> I get in there. Larry, can we go in? And I just want to talk this through with you. To come in, all, all we're talking about is excavating this piece right here first before you do the road. Yeah. Well, so doing, right, so all it requires is an excavator to be able to get onto the site to do this piece. You can get Well, here, here's here. the problem. Okay, just, yeah, tell yeah, me. Yeah, I got to get, this is all treat like you wouldn't believe. Right, but you don't have to go down there. 
You just have to come through here with your excavator. Yeah. Well, you I can't even get the I can't even get the tree guy in this way. Okay, so I'm I'm willing to say this, and I'll say it right away. Within ten days after I put the temporary crossing in, I will excavate. And there's two things: there's the Wetlands Protection Act, which is plants, and the floodplain, which is incremental. That means at the right elevation. Okay, within ten days after getting in there, I'll do that, and you can plant the plants. Uh, somebody can plant the plants. I'm not doing the plants. <laughs> okay. So, and I'll put that right in there. So within 10 days after I get in there, I'll excavate. They've already laid it out. I've marked all the trees. I'm willing to say within 10 days, I'll have the wetlands epication area done at the right elevation and loomed, and maybe we need another week or two to do the plants, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I'm not trying to get out of anything, but this, you know. Yeah. It's just the sequencing has to yeah. change. Mike, I can't, I can't even right there where the crossing is, I really couldn't even swing, you know, an excavator. Mm. Okay. All right. So with these plates that you want to put down, how are they going in? Explain it. Okay. When you come up. you can't block the stream. No, I'm not going to. When you, when, when you, I'm going to block it for an hour. And you can't block it because once you start blocking it, now you're pushing everything down, and I'm afraid that there's going to be more um, problems well, later on. Well, we're talking about putting in a temporary culvert. Watch. Oh, oh, no, no, yeah. Okay. So, you didn't say that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I didn't get to I'm it. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to put in a, a concrete culvert, right? So listen, no. Not, no. Do that now. No. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I got erosion control on both sides. Correct. Okay. I'm going to remove just a little itty bitty material and set two 36 inch pipes in, put stone all around them, put two steel plates over the top of them. Okay? Why I do that, and it's going to take about an hour, okay? I'm going to sandbag both sides of the stream. Right. Take the sandbags out, put down filter fabric, and be able to drive in and out for 45 days. I don't. Particularly here for the Rose, the water mains got to go. I understand what you're saying, but it just doesn't make a, a lot of sense to me as to the disturbance that's going to be occurring during that. Well, you have that. to excavate through that area anyway to put the water line in, so it's all going to be disturbed. He's talking about working in the same area that would be excavated down four feet or something for the. Well, you know, four feet for a water line. Right? No, no, it's not four feet at all, Rose. It shows it right on the plan. The bottom of the box culvert, the box culvert's five feet. Right. I'm going to fill in two and a half feet. So but the water line's going under that. It's got, it's got two 45-degree bends. It's going to go underneath the box culvert. It's going to be deep and come back up. Okay. There's not going to be any time that a salamander or the flow isn't going to be able to go through. I'm just going to sandbag it quick, put the pipes in. When I did the center street job, okay, I did the exact same thing. I just put down some filter fabric put down sandbags, I had that thing in in two hours. Th this you can't. This is a big one. Are you talking about 203? 203, yeah. The one that we had to keep going back to because it wasn't working correctly? Right. Now is I that the one that you're no, talking about? It was I don't working. want to end up with that problem again, Larry. Yeah. Listen, this I one. I have to keep going back out there saying, this is not working. We have silt over here. We have to add this over here. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I want it to be Rose, done. tell me how to do it. Going out there. Tell me how to do it. You have the order conditions. That's what they said to do. The, that is the listen, way to do it. Listen, listen. You can't do it that way at all. I got to put a water main in. I got to start at Center Street. I got to go this way. Okay. The box culvert is in, uh, in, it, the, this whole wall system, which I have a shop drawing of that. The box goes in, and then the wall system goes in both directions. Okay. I don't want to haul 200 loads in, of fill, on top of that. I want to haul it in. Wait till the, the, you know, your order of condition says on one of these things, you want it done during July and August. Right. I want to do it in June. But because of low flow, that's Correct. the reason yeah. why. Right. They don't want to have to have it. So that's why they wanted to do it, it in wasn't July it, and yeah, August. Yeah, so if, if you, if I. It wasn't required to have it July and August. It was preferred, I think. Correct. I don't think it yeah. said I want to do it then. have to do that. It's, but it's no, just. No, I want to do it in June. But I need to get in and out to do this whole project. I think he's just trying to get temporary construction access to the rest of the site. And in order to do that, um, 
to put in temp two 36 inch culverts, temporary culverts. You said no. Plate. I, okay. Yeah, no, I didn't say no. Oh, you did. You said pipes. You said no pipes. I'm putting in this. When yeah, I'm calling. I'm calling. I'm time. calling a culvert a pipe. Yeah. So you put. It, put okay. It so the only reason, listen, the only reason I pick 30, two 36 inches, that's way overkill. I took the volume of the box, okay, after you put the dirt in. So 236 is way more than the volume of the box. You would only need one 36. Because yeah, okay, whatever. The, the, because the, the box cover is intended to create a span. Yeah, gross. I'm not trying to get out of anything. I'm not saying you are. Yeah. I just want to make sure that there's not going to be any, there's the, the, least amount of disturbance is going to be occurring. That's I, why I, we did all of this. That's why we said all the boxes. Yeah, okay. That's why we went through all of this stuff is so that we could have the least amount of disturbance. I mean, the, the site is just like, it, 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 won't, it, it won't increase the amount of disturbance, um, the square footage of disturbance. It'll all occur within the footprint of the, Absolutely. Of the original layout of the road. Actually, it'll be less for the temporary road. It'll be Correct. not as wide as the final crossing. So we'll be within that same area. He's just asking to build it first instead of doing in the Rose. location area first uh, so we can get the equipment in to actually do the Thursday, area. right, I'll, I'll take my time. You'll see every little thing that just, there's no, all as we can, this is my access road now. It's a pickup truck road. I went down the power lines. I don't know if I'm going to get arrested or not with the, with the equipment to pull apart the dump. So, so. I'm not trying to get out of anything. There's not going to be any erosion at all. The thing, the thing, the thing that happened over on that brook is the, the box culvert's too small. You know, and I put, in the end, you see, I put six inch riprap to prevent yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm not perfect. So that's, other than that, other than the little sequence here, and I'm willing. Are those the only modifications that you're looking for? Or are there more? No, I think that's it. Okay. 23, 24, and 29. Right? Uh, 23 is a saw, 24. Um, that was just a discussion. I don't think that there's oh, a change. I, I thought there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought he did. And 29 was the. Yeah, and it's just, very, it, it's, it's actually pretty, put, yeah. pretty clear the way he worded it. It's 39. With the exception of the oh, work, it's 39? I'm sorry. yeah. With the exception of the work approved at the wetlands crossing, That's no haul roads, temporary access roads, shall be located within 25 That's feet of a wetlands unless approved by the Groveland Conservation Commission. Yeah. So we've he, always had that in. Yeah. There. So he knew, Hawksmith knew that we pretty much had to do that. But we've always said it that way, so he kept it the same, and. The idea was that if you needed it, then you would have to come in and say it because you might not know ahead of time that you needed a temporary road. So 24. We just required a plan for that, and that's right. right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When this was initially proposed, we just assumed that you were going through that other way. Yes. Right. Right. That you would be able to attack it from either side rather no, than. No. Listen. If I drove trucks in that guy's driveway, it would be all over. A low bed can't even make the turn around. You know, when you guys come yeah, out no, to look at what I've done, yeah, no, it's a little tricky there. You got, you got to go in to, to to Center Street Auto, take a right, and go around the back. Cool you can't, yeah. you know. Somebody would knock the building eventually. Pardon? Under a car. You know, people try to park there, and everything too. So you're people coming in and out of the, the shop, parking and everything, and you try, have to try to wind your yeah, way yeah. around. Yeah. So, it. just on both of these, right? That's, that's almost a perfect picture, Rose, of what I'm doing, okay? That's in Salisbury. And if, if I couldn't get to the other side, I couldn't have done the thing, you know? That wall system. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. So this is what it's going to look like when it's done, not what we're doing right now. No. No. Do you see the walls? Yes. That's why we're not going to have the problem, the little problem we had over there with the erosion. The whole wall system is... Whatever the word is, I'm trying to think of it. It's integrated or part of this whole box culvert thing. So just so I understand, so we're all saying that the, you want to build a temporary crossing mm -hmm. and then do the replication, or you want to build do the temporary crossing no, I wanna, and build the walls and build nope, the whole road? No, no, no. I'm going to have this all on Thursday. I want to, after I'm done with the trees, 
I want to install a temporary crossing. Okay? Within 20 days of that temporary crossing, crossing, 10 days even, the replication area okay. will be done, the replication area will be bloomed, and do you want the plants right away or? Yeah, I, I mean, you would, you yeah. would put them in as soon as possible. Yeah, that, okay. Just so you get the benefit of full growing season. So rose, during April, uh, uh, This is April. Yeah, help me. May a and June? April and May, I want to haul in 200 loads of material and everything else, okay? A little more towards the end, I want to put my water main in underneath the box culvert. Okay. The temporary culvert. The temporary, the temporary culvert. culvert. Yes. And then immediately after that, I want to put in the box culvert. And both times, with sandbags, filter fabric, it's going to be very quick. There's never going to be any time that for more than a day that a turtle couldn't go through the I I I said 236. It's, I'd like to put 136. It has nothing to do with the turtles. Okay. So, yeah. No, it's, we don't want the turtles anywhere near there. So right, it's just and maintain the flow. The right. turtles can't get there because right. I got right. fence right. everywhere. Right, and so that was the whole point. But right. the, I think the reasoning that the commissioners wanted you to wait was so that we have a lower flow because yeah. it's well. I want to wait. Rain. Yeah. It's, I, it's, it's, it will make his job easier as well. Right. Right. But I right. think that you probably only need a 36 inch to maintain the yeah, flow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So these are both small, very small periods of time, less than one day, when you're doing these critical stops of the flow and putting something in place, right? Okay. There's two Ten times. Days. No, wait a minute. No, no. When he actually puts the thing in place, when, when two, he's when actually the stopping the water. In, the temporary pipe and stone, it's under four hours. When I put the box culvert in, it involves a big crane. And and this is why I got to get on the other side with the crane. Each piece weighs 30 tons. No, 30,000 pounds, 15 tons. I got to get them delivered all that day because there's no room there. So that's going to be a day. But it, it'll be done in one day. It has to mm, be. Okay. So stopping the flow. Yeah, there isn't really. Well, Listen. The good thing is that because it's not draining a big area, there is, it's kind of just stagnant. Yeah, on the right-hand side. Yes. Right. There's not a lot of flow that you're when, trying to control when, there. when I do the box culvert, let's say the box culvert is 60 days from next week. There will be no flow there. I'm not going to do it when it's raining. Yeah. You know. it, it, it may be wet, but there's, there's really, it doesn't really flow in that location. So it shouldn't, there shouldn't be a lot of movement material. But there would be sandbagging on both sides, whatever flow there would be, or water that there is channel for Sand a, a few hours when you put the temporary culvert yeah. in. Sandbags and filter fabric. And then for potentially a few days when you're building the... Yeah. The box culvert will go in Perfect. in a day. It's going to take about 10 days to do all these walls, but that's not stopping any flow. Mm. You, when, when, when you come out and see the erosion control, it'll, it'll make a lot more sense, you know? Okay, so can you schedule these two critical periods for a day that Rosemary can be Absolutely. on site and yeah. you'll have Mary there on site? I want to make sure that, Absolutely. you know, I can hear from the both of them that um, everything was done yeah. the best way possible. Yeah. Well, that's no problem at all. Because she only works on Monday and Thursday, so yeah. you'll have to arrange it. Okay. Does that make sense? You're going to have Rosemary and you? Mary. Okay. Well, <laughs> I feel better with you there and you. <laughs> it's not that we so don't trust way. Larry. No, no, no. Listen, I understand. You say that. No, I, that's what I'm saying. It's just that, uh, you know. We have different concerns. Right, exactly. Right, yes. Exactly. Yes. Every, every, everybody has a job to do. Right. right. Uh, I have no problem. I, you know. Okay. So I, if you're doing a modification of the order of conditions, you probably take a vote on it. Yeah. Well, we're not really. We're, we're doing an interpretation of, uh, this is an interpretation 
of what was said in 29 that we're allowing a, a temporary hall road. So yeah, we'll take a vote on that And I'll that put one. right in my construction sequence that I will do the installation of the temporary culvert w with rows and, and uh, do you? Mary. You, you, Mary. <laughs> and then six, 60 days from now, we'll have a big, you might have to work two days in a row and take Monday <laughs> off, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you know? So, the, so condition 29 actually mm -hmm. says that the wetland replication and the floodplain compensation needs to be done before other work on the site. So that does require some kind of vote. Right. I, I would be very comfortable saying, I'm not doing the plantings, but I would be very comfortable saying the replication area will be excavated in shape to the proper elevation in the proper location within 10 days of the temporary cull. Yeah. Of course. But I think you need more time for the plants. Mm -hmm. But the, the thing is, if there was a flood, the... I'm not doing the planting either, so... The, the so the somebody's doing the planting. Yeah. Right. You're picking the plants, right, or something? The landscape, they have a landscape that's okay. doing all that, yeah. Okay. We're just doing the heavy looking on. Right. And I'm, I'm shaping it to the right elevation, and I'm looming it. And they have a, a, a professional... And landscapers will yeah, take yeah, over, yeah. yeah. All right. Any other questions that we've got? I have um, a question. Yeah. What sure. happens if something does arise where they need to interject whatever whatever you're doing? What happens on that day? Are they going to contact you? or? Well, I think what we are going to have to do is trust our agent, Rosemary, to make an on-the-spot decision. That's fine. If for something had That's to be to shut down, let's say... You know, Whatever. the flow was too fast for right. some reason. It, was, it had rained the day before. You know, Rosemary says, comes, shows up and says, you know, it, the flow's too much. We can't do it today. You know, there's, there's no problem. I call you when I call her. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, I'll ma make a motion that for uh, 180R Center Street. Order of condition n um, number 39, 29. no, 39, that we allow a temporary access road to be built across the stream for a period of uh, 45 to 60 days and monitored during installation by Rosemary and Mary Rimmer. And, and to, to um, Rose's 29, that the, the wetlands replication area and comp comp compensatory floodplain replication will be done within 10 days of the temporary crossing, excluding plants. Yeah, but we'll... I don't think that we need to uh, do anything with 39 because we're not fording any other streams. We're not doing any other crossings. It's all according to, It's all crossing. Yeah, the we're only doing place. one. Across, yeah. So I don't see that there's any need to change 39. Yeah, but it's a temporary crossing. See, 39 They're allowing says... They're temporary crossing. No whole haul loads or temporary access roads shall be located and you are going to have a temporary access road so uh, I think that's our biggest concession here I'm not because the timelines are never set in stone uh, anyway until the pre-construction meeting so at the pre-construction meeting you're going to give us a t uh, uh, the final timeline on when you're doing these different things so what I think, I think if we just keep the motion to the temporary Hall Road and that Rosemary's going to be there when it's put in would be fine. I will have my 
construction sequence, meaning Kendall Construction, based on this order for Thursday. And if it needs to be, I'll email it to you prior to that. But if you want any modifications to what I'm saying, Rose, add it, delete it, I'll, you know. Right. Okay, so. I have, I have a week and a half after we have the pre-construction meeting of clearing here. Mm -hmm. So there's plenty of time to yep. modify it. I think you need a second. Yeah, right. We need a second on this. I'll second. Okay. So, Julie, just read the motion back to us. Sure. Dempsey motions that 180 Far Center Street, order conditions number 39. We will allow a temporary access road to be built across the stream for 45 to 60 days to be monitored by Rosemary D.C. and Mary Rema. Uh, during installation. Okay. You can just say that the uh, environmental monitor, because it's, that's, that's who she is. Yeah, referenced. during, yeah, to Rosemary and the environmental monitor. And then could we just, so, that, so that there isn't any question in the future, also modify number 29 to just say, with the exception of the temporary hall road, temporary road, because I'm afraid that that might get forgotten at some point. So. All right, let's, we'll do this one first. So uh, any questions on it? No? Seeing none, then we'll take a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, unanimous on that one. <laughs> and Which one was it? 29. 29. Okay. I would just suggest that you just add at the end of that sentence, with the exception of the temporary access road, which would be constructed, with the exception of the temp construction of the temporary access road. Yeah, all right. So, um, I'll make a motion that we alter the uh, timing on the construction portion of the permit to allow the temporary access road to be built before before the uh, replication areas are dealt with in number 29. I'll second. Okay. Any questions on that one? Just the order, timing. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Unanimous on that one, too. And just why I'm here, my brother yes. Friday, I see him right here. We're not going to do it till Saturday, but we're going to completely redo his silt fence. This time, we're going to put a lot of double stakes on each side with a wire tie. Yep. Um, uh, as you know, his is the turtle. Well, part of it's a wetland protection act, and the rest is the turtle. So prior to the 15th, the 15th is Monday, he'll be all done again. Mm. Okay. The winter tore it apart. Well, I think anyway, every year it has to be looked at. You know, it's been there a long time. Yeah. The wind and stuff. Just, mm. So that'll um, so that'll be redone, and you guys can see it yep. Thursday. All right. So, thank the pre-construction meeting on Thursday, April eighteenth. Um, what do we say? Like eleven a.m. might That's be good. Fine, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I'll try to come to. I don't want Rose to beat me up. <laughs> you might have to protect me. When have I ever, Larry? <laughs> very, very rarely do I get into that. Rose is a sweetheart. Larry, all the years I have known you, when have I ever done it? Call me. You've always been. Yeah, you've... I was going to say maybe once or twice, but. <laughs> um, 
Good. You guys can have all the pictures. This is the first time I did it like this. So every time you see a Rosa control stake with a number, you'll find it out there. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. You're a new member? Not so new. Bill Formosi. Nice to meet you, Bill. And Do you know Heather and Fred? I, I've met Heather and Fred. Fred, nice to meet you, Fred. All right, thanks. All right, see you then. Thank you. Bye, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, so I'm going to make a motion to open the continue the open hearing for um, one federal way um, in rad filing. Continued from March 13th, 2019. Uh, any questions on that? Which one we're talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Oh, he wasn't there. Oh, okay. No. One abstention. Sorry about that. All right, so this is um, a continuation of the ANRAD. We had a site visit to uh, One Federal Way um, after our meeting. I think it was, what? when was that date? March 13th, first meeting day. Yeah, that was the meeting day. I think it was that following Saturday. Yes, it was. March 17th. Yes. I still owe you the notes on that to scan in. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, it was that Saturday afterwards. Uh, 15th, 16th. 16th. 16th, yes. So it was on March 16th. So... What did we see? Lots of flags. Yes. The flags made sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Lots of blue <laughs> bags. <laughs> yes. In the woods? No, Patriots Day. Yeah. Yeah. Their, their explanations were clear. So yes. On, on their field. delineation. Yeah. Yes, we met with um, Mr. C. Camp, our friend. Uh, from previous, many previous filings, and um, he explained to us uh, why the site was the way it was, that it had been probably um, graded down to its current level. And we had him check a couple of the buffer, uh, a couple of the soils to make sure we agreed with it. So, I don't think I had any, have any, I think it was pretty straightforward. Yeah. 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 He was, that, that was a site that was pretty obvious. Where oh, but his flag was like, you know, he checked the soil like this close to it on the other side. Yeah. And it was regular. Yeah. So I was impressed. Yeah. Yeah. And so the, the wetland buffers, the 100 foot buffers on that property exclude um, about oh, maybe like 30% of the uh, area as buildable from a commercial point of view. So they're going to have to squeeze something in there in order to uh, not go into the 100 foot. I thought it was like somewhere in the middle of that septic mm, ridge, mm, right? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. A significant portion. Yep. All right, so do I hear a motion on what we want to do and close this hearing out? What do we want to do? We want to <laughs> accept the, the determination. Yeah, accept the, uh, the wetland delineation. Wetland delineation. I accept the wetland delineation. I will make a motion of that. That we accept the wetland delineation yes. and close, we'll close the hearing at the same time. No, we don't. Yeah, well, we can because oh, right. we only have this one hearing. So. Okay. 
All right, so that's your motion. That's my motion. <laughs> second on that. I'll second Bill. that. All right. So we've got a motion to accept the filing of the wetlands <coughs> delineation and close the hearing. We'll issue a ORAD in GORAD. GORAD, whatever it is, Groveland's uh, determination after we approve this. That's the standard. All right. Any questions before we vote? Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Um, against. You uh, abstain. abstain. One the yep. Whoops. One abstention. Right, right. He, wasn't, he wasn't there. Three. <clears throat> One zero three zero one. Okay. So, um, Rosemary will write that up for us. We've got to sign it. So, <laughs> pay attention to your email. What are you going to be issuing? Uh, G-Rad. O-Rad. O-R-A-D. And, uh, Go, Gorad, just the same one with a G in front of it. Because it's a Groveland one. Oh, Groveland. There's two separate ones that have to be issued. Gorad. 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 Why don't you just other. choose what you want to call it? And we'll go with <laughs> okay. that. Okay. Right? I'm just going to fill it out. That's Gorad it. or Gorad? <laughs> what do you Gorad. want? Gor Gorad. Yeah, you Gorad. Gorad. Just come in and sign. Just come <laughs> yeah, so I already signed. Why is she still asking people to sign? Sorry, I sent it to everyone, and then I realized that you had signed it too. So, well, some I can't read when they sign. Oh, like like John. Yeah, you we can't. Had four signatures. I was the fourth one. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, John is one that you. Yeah, I see his little scratch, but you can't tell what the heck it is. So now I kind of know, but. No, but after I signed, then they should have been all done. You were. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, you were yeah. four. That's all I needed. Yeah. yeah. More scribbles. More scribbles. Okay. Um, so, uh, once again, this is kind of an old business item. We have uh, the applicant for... 929, 931 Salem Street here to, he's going to talk about his uh, desire for a revised plan to us. This is, um, if you recall, this is the um, uh, gas station slash body shop uh, on Salem Street that uh, we approved um, about a year ago, a little over a year ago. All right. Good evening. I'm Mr. Chairman, member of the boards. Uh, my name is Hal Chuber. I'm a design engineer. I have offices at 112 State Road. We're back to refresh your memory. I, I think we were here about over a year ago, I think we went through this process for about a year, maybe to get to what we got now. Um, as you stated, you, this is the 929-931 Salem Street. You did approve a, uh, an 8,000 square foot building with uh, seven uh, repair bays and a small convenience store. Uh, and a gas station with uh, four pumps and two above ground um, fuel storage tanks. Uh, I do have the approved, I did send the copy of the previously approved plan and I also have, I've delineated and read the proposed changes on another plan so it'll be easier to compare the two just so we can all refresh our memories. It's been a while. Uh, the uh, most of our work was between, we had some substantial work between the 50 foot and the 100 foot buffer and we did get a waiver on that to pave that portion and part of the review I believe it was the town uh, 
we had this reviewed by by a peer engineer, the the, the, the town consultant. I, I, I believe it's GZA at that time, because it was required for site plan review also. So yep. we went through that process uh, uh, with with the planning board, and also we did get approval from the uh, uh, zoning board. Uh, the uh, the changes that we are proposing, there'll, there'll be some change in the use of the property, of the project, and we will have to go to zoning for that. But the good thing that we believe, it's a good thing environmentally, eliminating the, the uh, body shop. That's one of the use, that's one of the uses that we would be eliminating. Uh, on the approved plans, we do have approval for two bays to be used for body shop, one for to work on the car, and another one for spray booth. Uh, I'm not sure if you had the, uh, I don't think you have the floor layout. So it wasn't part of the submission, the original submission with the notice of intent. I think the notice of intent only had to deal with the, with, with the site plans and the drainage. Uh, but basically, this is the, 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 uh, uh, building permit set, on the building permit set we had seven bays. We're taking two bays out, eliminating the two bays, so it will be only five bays for the, uh, uh, for the repair. There will be no body shop. But we're expanding the existing store that previously, I think it was around 1,500 square feet. We're expanding the store to accommodate a coffee shop with the drive through the the new revised building would be uh, 72 7250 square feet the original building that was approved was 8000 so the footprint of the building is smaller than than what was previously approved and that's why i put the two together and by doing this we were able to shrink the footprint a bit and by doing that, we've eliminated some of the park, the paved areas around it that we felt that we can improve upon it that. And I, as I indicated, we were able to shift the, the, the edge of pavement along the southerly portion of the, of the project another five feet away from the wetland to provide another. So previously you approved this edge of pavement back here. Mm -hmm. So with what we've done, We've eliminated, at, I believe, 1,800 square feet of previously approved paved area in this section. But we added another 750 square feet of paved uh, uh, surfaces to the north of the building to accommodate the drive through behind the building. But the pavement, this increase in, in, in or this change in impervious is outside the 100 foot buffer. If you look at the plans, this is the 100 foot buffer here. So this work is outside the 100 foot buffer. But as a net result, we do have a reduction of 1,000 square feet total, 1,050 square feet of uh, impervious. Because we added 18 and 750 yeah. here, so uh, we eliminated 18 here and added 750. We, we believe that this is an improvement to what was previously approved because the, the stormwater system will be this identical. We won't change in anything. It will just be designed to come, you know, I mean, over designed by whatever percentage. It's not even worth going yep. into that. So we won't be, there'll be no change to grading or drainage or whatsoever. You know, it's, it's, whatever was approved before will be the same. Another change that we would like to run by you, this is, be, previously we had a, a, a two above ground fuel tanks outside the 100 foot buffer. Going back and forth with, with contractors and we're trying and everybody's telling us, you know, it's crazy to go uh, above ground. It's the, the tanks are exposed, there's chances for whatever, they're exposed for vandalism or maybe potential for, for spillage because of the way you have to pump from the, from the gap. You have to pump from the um, uh, tanker to the tank to fill the tank. They're not by gravity 
if you fill underground tanks will be by gravity. But although we, we do have containment, that was part of the uh, 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 requirements when we went through the site plan view. We would like, and again, this is something we wanted to propose, and I think this is under the purview of the Zoning Board of Appeal because we would have to get a variance on this from the Zoning Board of Appeal. But as far as your work here, we would like to move the tanks. The tanks will be outside the 100-foot buffer. We have potentially, we have two, two locations that we can accommodate the tanks. It's, it's either the, in this uh, uh, fashion or this orientation, or we can even move the, the tanks further north, <coughs> closer to the road, and put the tanks on this side of the... Uh, so they'll be outside the 100 foot buffer, mm -hmm. but there'll be, there'll be two double wall tanks in ground. Mm -hmm. uh, what would that do also, it would open up the site a little bit too, because I mean, if you have two above tank structures with fencing around it, it kind of makes it hard for the, for the, for the traffic circulation on site. Uh, we believe that, uh, I want to make sure we went, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I think you had the, re yeah, I, I think did. the one it's you had was in the 100 foot buffer, right? Right, yeah. it is yeah, within yeah. the 100 foot buffer. No, that was a drafting, asking. and yes, okay. I, I realized that. That's why I, I brought this, this plan with me. Okay. And on this plan, I have the location on either the here side. or, yes. Okay. And I personally think here is better because you're way out of the 100 foot buffer. Again, this one is outside the 100-foot buffer, so we have no preference. But once you put the, the tanks in the ground, it really opens up this whole area for, it's really tight with, with, with the circulation. Mm -hmm. But again, I, this has to be, this has to go through the Zoning Board of Appeal to get a variance on in-ground uh, storage in, in, that, um, in the district. I think yep. we're in the... Uh, how do they fill it when it's that close to the road? Oh, they can come in. The truck can come in this way. They can fill it oh, and then okay. leave this way. We have two curb cuts. The curb cut's already there. There was, I, if you recall, that road was reconstructed like a year, yep. less than a year ago. So we worked with the state at that time. They put the curb cuts in. The two buildings are not there. You, I'm sure you're familiar with the site. I understand also there'll be some, the contractor will have to go back and do some meant some of the uh, items that you know so I think the uh, uh, erosion control some of the, the missing with, through the winter but I I just heard Larry saying he'll be there before the, the 15th so are you, are you relocating the building forward to fit the drive-through and back I, I thought we I thought it was closer to the, the he reduced the, board. the size of the building well, yeah. lengthwise, right? You're no, not lengthwise. No. Yes. Like yeah. Lengthwise too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's. Long, yeah, the other building was 120. Let me. Uh, I thought it was just the. 130. The depth of it. Yeah. yeah. Not the not uh, the length. Well, yeah, the depth. If if you. Right. I'm calling the long right. way. The, yeah, the length. long way is smaller. Yeah. But because you got rid of two bays, but right. then expanded the the yeah, store. This was but I thought it was up against the the border between that and Pub 97. No, see, no. take a look at this. Uh, was it? Yeah, this okay. is 140, 145. So. About 20. It's. I can tell you so what. This was yes. Yeah. Okay. I didn't yeah. realize there was see, that much space. See, because the buffer. Yeah. This is what I was looking at. Yeah. So see the buffer coming like through right wall. there. Yeah. Yeah. See where it's coming through right here. Same exact place. Oh no! I think what happened. That's what I was looking at, oh, saying okay. that the building had not changed. No, it did. It did change. I think okay. what happened uh, uh, 30 feet from here. We might have pushed um, it away from. Because we wanted to accommodate the the drive the through, through lane, right. and also we need to accommodate a, an escape lane because that's probably be required. So you you don't get you know what I'm saying. If you, you right. don't want to get stuck in the drive through lane, yeah, you have to so have it make it so, so you, you can go around. Feet. Right. The rigid, yes. I never thought of it like that, but I've been yeah. in that position before. Damn, this line is 
is it on? <laughs> but it, okay. it is, if you look at, I mean, yeah, if you, it's, right there. it's right there. It, yep. it is, I mean, it's. It's very it's, close, it's right? Yeah. It's, it's further away, but probably five feet. Yeah, not and much. And that's why we were able to push Everything this line that way. Okay, that way. all right. I, yep. I think it's an improvement to what was improved before, I'm, you know, and also eliminating the, the, um, uh, with the drive through the body shop. Where are you going to put the snow now? Stockpile. Stockpile your snow. Uh, we, I think this, this, the uh, before we had this this area here, we had this section here, and we'll. Uh, I mean, we still have this corner that would probably won't be. Uh, it's it's landscape, but. Uh, uh, yeah, Could you move it up to the back? That was the problem with it going down. The, this side. I, yes. I think, yeah, that was, yeah, right. it's too close. I don't yes. know if it was, I think it was, it was, it was you? Okay. Yeah. What about up Because this we went out, but I think I, I thought you would be happy with this one, pushing it away five feet from Yes. It. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we did put the fence, I believe, at that time, it wasn't it? You know, we said the, something uh, about, yes, yeah, so fencing. it wouldn't go over the right, side. Right. Is, um, there, is there room? This yeah, is there, there's room. This, this is not going to change, this okay. one here. I mean, we, I can expand this a little bit here, too. Right, so, so we can have know. that area up here yeah. for stockpiling yeah. of yeah. snow? Yeah. Right here. Right, like right there or something? Sure. Up yeah. that end? Is, yeah. that, is that something that would work? Yeah. And you still have the berms on the edges of the yeah, paving? Yeah, yeah. No, nothing changed. It's well, just we pushed. It's going to be landscape now. Right. right. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. you'll have buff. So actually, you'll have more buffer. That's, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, to, to we so thought if we can do it, you know, why not? If we shrink in the building, we can take advantage of that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't, I, we don't have an issue. I think we're just pushing some of this stuff here so to the front. So all corner. that's paved over there, uh, like up by the tank and beyond. Yeah, this is the yeah this okay. is the edge of pavement, so we can put it here in this corner. Uh, you need to make a note of that, so I don't. Uh. Is that would be uh, at the west end of the property, pretty much, I guess. Tanks underground. You, are you putting more parking spots, or what? What? Because obviously that. No, I mean it's it's going in the, in this area here that we're not. Uh, no, it was this this whole thing was paved here, but the tanks were right in the middle. Right, the, right. So know. what? I guess what happened? Is that just it's more just roadway? More, or, more, or yeah, more driveway. More, yes, because we can. You know, you have more room for people pulling up yeah, from the okay. garage, and you know, so okay. it's not. Um, yeah. By the way, I mean, there'll be double, there'll be double wall with monitoring. I mean, it, it, we have to comply with yeah. state right. uh, fire and and uh, environmental. It's just the issue whether we can put in the ground or above ground. I think it's a zoning, and that's we have to go to zoning for that. But we talked to zoning because we thought. We can go to zoning because we need a special permit for the drive-through. Drive-through is allowed by a special permit from the zoning board. So they said, no, we're the last stop again. <laughs> so we talked to planning, said, no, we're not, you know, you go to <laughs> same, you go to conservation. So, so we're back here and then, you know, based on what we get, and I'm hoping that you find that these changes are really an improvement over what's there now, what was approved. And uh, we can continue. Yep. Okay. All right. So what we're considering here is um, three changes. The tanks going to underground. Maybe more. Oh, all right. Yes. No storage. Is that? <laughs> the, the building size and position, you know, based on the reduction in the bays and then the <coughs> moving the snow 
storage. So I I'm not sure that besides the snow storage that either one of the other two really is significant. I don't think so, okay. because it's really what's on the plans. Um, do you have the orders of condition with you? I have the whole file here. Uh, I, I have a copy of the order of condition. <laughs> if, uh, what does if it say about the snow storage in there, if anything? It's probably at the last one. You probably know better. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, I know it says that any changes to the plans will have to... Yes, uh, but we, we, yeah. that's what we're trying to determine is are they significant changes or not. All right. Okay. No. I don't think we put that in here. I think it's, it's on. only on the plan. My one input out of like two years, well, three years. Well, what we did, we asked for it, and then it was supposed to be on the plan. I think we, I think we designated it on the plan. Oh, all right. I think that's how it was, yeah, it was handled. Yeah, we didn't specifically say anything about it in the uh, permit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I don't so I don't think there's anything in the permit that really needs to be okay. changed. Yep. I don't see anything either. That's why I was just checking. So that would mean that you're free to move ahead with this. I, I think I would want to send you a revised plan, though, right? Yes. So you can update your records. Yes, so definitely. I'll send one with, I'll add the snow storage, and I'll show the tanks on this side of the. Yep. Uh, you, you still should probably take a vote on accepting the revised plan. Yeah, I would. Yeah, all right. And then if you could just get me a copy of the revised plan so yeah. I can have it on file. Okay. Yeah. And at least if you can get me just something that, or I can tell the, the uh, zoning board that we did appear before you so, so they know. I, I think uh, are you, I are you, you're not working with. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What? The date? Up to say yeah. That From this one? Yeah. Okay. March 22nd. Yeah. yeah, I'll keep the same dates. It would be March 22nd, but I'll revise it to show the date. The fact that they showed up to be in a minute. So. And then the oh, and then and snow storage. Yep. Yeah, I, I got the notes. So. All right, yeah, so. so if you could get me that. Uh, once I get the revised plan, I can write something up. Okay, for you that would be great, at least, is, yes. You know, the revised plan dated such and such has been approved by the Conservation Commission at the okay. meeting on April 10th. Okay. Yeah, so I'll make a motion that we um, approve the changes to the plans for 929, 931 Salem Street, dated March 22nd, 2019, and not require any changes to the permit. I'll second that. Any questions on that? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain, unanimous. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The plans are dated March 22nd, you said? Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Give this to Rosemary.
And these too. These are for 180R center. Uh, I believe uh, Heather did. Yeah. Heather, did you know your dad when I brought up about 203? No. Because <laughs> I'm um, like, he always says he's going to do this. And he does. It's always I know. Too. And then he changed it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Larry. Oh, it's very much more. I'll have it done in 10 days. You ready? We're ready for your update, All right. Rosemary. Well, I don't have a lot, but um, you gave everybody the appeal from DEP with regard to 157 Main Street, right? So, um, also, did you see that? Um, no, they were that. going to start doing. A national group was going to start doing some maintenance at, on Seven Star Road. I told them that they had to wait until after April 15th, or they were going to have to pay a fee because seasonal restriction and. I got an email from them saying that they would wait until after April 15th so that they don't have to talk. Uh, it's only five days. I know. Well, it was last week when no, I was going back and forth with them. Um, also, uh, National Grid is also doing their vegetation removal on the rights of ways for their lines. And um, <laughs> something bad bag him driving on the power line road. <laughs> Um, and um, then we got a, um, a letter from Merrimack Valley Planning Commission if anybody's interested about their uh, holding a public hearing. Um, or I nominate Fred to go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Um, no update at Sewell. What? No update at Sewell. Nope. No. I have not heard anything. Um, so on the 157 Main Street DEP appeal, I'm going to go, that's Tuesday, I'm going to go to that and I, I'm going to ask them what on earth their thinking is on it. I understand uh, if she wants to say uh, it's necessary, but how did they know that we didn't do that? You know, it doesn't make any sense. And um, so that's on Tuesday. So I'll let you know when I find out. Um, did you get in touch with that woman on uh, Murray Ave again? Yes. Uh, no, I told her to call me when she was because her, I believe it was her brother-in-law. Yep. Asked Oh, okay, yeah. So yep. she, I said, when you're, you know, done or whatever, get in touch with me, you know, give me a call and we'll set up another appointment. And that's how I left it because I didn't want to say, I don't know what the time frame was. Yeah, or okay. When he was going to be better or whatever. And she's up in Maine. Up here. Oh, yeah. So the ball is in her court. Yeah, I just said, give me a call, let me know. Okay. And I guess 301 is going through zoning and planning again. Yeah, they've been there for a while. Yeah. I think we just have to keep an eye on that. Yeah. Proposing medical supply store. Where is that? At the gas, old gas station there. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. That's this week, right? Sooner or later. I don't know when it is. Soon, I, the, um, I, uh, the plant store, there was still a plant store. Yeah, oh, yeah. hydroponics. Yeah, yeah. Sooner or later, no, he's going to come back to come back to to us. No matter what he's going to do, he's going to come back to us. What about the people across from the town hall? Oh. What's going on there? Right one across from us, one the lot across the street that we approved the the uh, duplex. Them, the guy oh. came in and wanted. 
actually, didn't he come in? He, wanted, he met with us both that day. And then that was it. I haven't heard anything since. So. And somebody else is interested yeah, in it, too. Yeah, two people. So. Oh, two people are interested in the property, and that was residential. Correct. Both of them want residential. Excellent. Both of them want um, duplexes or something to that effect. Yeah, remember them? They drew up, like, the deck and all that stuff? Yeah. Right. They came before us? Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they were told that they can't have the decks. They had to cancel these of them because they would be too close to the wetlands if they didn't. Mm -hmm. But okay. that, I haven't heard any more about that. So. Okay. Do we have a motion on the minutes? Do you have them? Bill has them. I have them right here. He's got them. He can make the motion. There you go. <laughs> so is it two separate motions? Yeah, I'd keep yeah, them so two separate ones. So um, I'll make a motion to accept the uh, minutes from the February 29th, 2019, February 20th, 2019 meeting as is. Second. Second. Third seconds. Any questions on it? As submitted, right? As submitted. Yep. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Abstain? One abstention? No. 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 He was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, was, Sorry about that. He wasn't here in March. Yeah, just give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so I'll make, uh, make a motion to accept the minutes from the March 13th, 2019 meeting as no. submitted. I will second that. Any questions on that? The March 13th as submitted. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, abstain. Oh, yeah. One abstention. Okay, you can just give me those and I'll sign them. <laughs> Anybody have any other discussion items? Discussion, like open discussion? Yeah, open as in. Okay, I have one. Yes. Next month will be my last meeting. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a discussion. That sounds like a declaration. I know. What? Yeah. Does your term end this year? No, it doesn't. But I have to resign because I'll be going to school on Wednesdays in class. Oh, yes. I can't be at two places at once. Gee, I don't know. Can you figure that one out yet? You could always, know. like, bring your, bring your laptop and we could... <laughs> I have to go... In. In class, Mike. <laughs> yeah. It's not online anymore. Um, it is online, but I am not very good at um, accounting, so I have to go in person so that I can understand it. So, And that's two classes, two semesters, so that's a year. So you have a, another month to find somebody to fill in for me? Yes, yes. You don't have a quorum until September. Like <laughs> oh, Show up next quorum is September. She doesn't have to resign. <laughs> well, that's too bad. I mean, too bad for us, probably not too bad for you. Uh, as far as going to school, well, that's know, good. Conservation or accounting. <laughs> yeah. What are you taking, accounting one or financial? Or? Um, financial. Yeah, I've already taken one and two. And like I tried to take financial account. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Have to do that. Okay. Yeah, so we'll have to uh, keep our eyes out for volunteers. Oh, I I know someone that we can ask. Former members. Oh. <laughs> Why does he want to come back? He could maybe be talked into it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So, actually, if you make your resignation officially on, like, June 30th, then we can have, like, a full, a full year. A full we'll year? have the, okay, the new fine. person appointed with all the other appointments. June 30th it is, then. Yeah. I'm going to pull a Terry or a Fred. I won't be here that last one. <laughs> <laughs> July? Yeah. 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 
I know. <laughs> Any other open discussion? No, nobody else can resign, but eh? <laughs> I know. Good luck getting the quorum. John's done <laughs> vacation. When is he coming is he back? Coming is he back in He's Hawaii? Israel. Israel? Wow. Yeah. So hopefully he took enough of vacation. I know. He doesn't well, need well, any more. Because yeah. oh, Terry, oh. Terry's not coming back till the summertime. I think he said September. Yeah. He does, doesn't he do softball, Terry Burke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he's not here in the summer. Yeah, yeah, he was he some was summer. I don't know if he still is doing that. Yes. Terry and Tom are both the business Tom's stuff. Um, traveling. Yeah. 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 I keep getting emails. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm traveling this month. I won't be back. Yeah, I'll be coming back until next week sometime. Oh. All right. So our next. Meeting is on Wednesday, May 8th, second Wednesday in May. And we don't have any anticipated items for that meeting. Nope. Oh, so maybe no meeting. Could be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. I, I have no, no submittals. <laughs> so if I don't get something by the end of the month, then. Yeah, oh, right. Sure. Yeah, I have to back up. April 15th is right around the corner. Yeah. I can't imagine that your office isn't going to be busy. I see 180R coming back. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's, um, I'll have to be in by the, by, yeah, by next week. Yep. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and you haven't had any yeah. inquiries. Had anything, so nothing we'll on the horizon. I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think what if there's anything the out there. Minute, you'll have like three. That's usually how it goes. Mm. You know, you don't have any, and then all of a sudden it's like you get bombarded. So. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be in Boston. All right. So, is motion there to adjourn. a motion to adjourn? Is there a second? I'll second. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody second. <laughs> all in favor, say aye. 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 Oppose, aye. abstain. You're not going to abstain. <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous. Well, would be in discussion afterwards if I do abstain. <laughs> it would be. <laughs>